Hey everybody, welcome back to Uninhibited, the web series dedicated to forensic DNA, brought to you by me, Peter John McEnany, and this guy over here, Nick Andrews, my fellow field application scientist. Together we are former DNA analysts turned field application scientists for Thermo Fisher Scientific. Sorry, Peter John, two seconds. It's Dave Jackson from Washoe County. I just gotta get this, sorry. Sure. Hey Dave, how's it going? Uh, yeah, it's in the user guide. I'll just send that over to you straight away. All right, no worries. Okay, bye. Sorry, Peter John, you know customers come first. Of course, of course, no worries. So on today's episode, we are gonna be talking about... Sorry, it's Dave again, just gotta take this. No worries, no worries, Snick. Hey Dave, how's it going? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, just put a check mark in it, and then you just save that as default. Yeah, sweet. Did it work? Perfect. All right, yeah, then time for a cup of tea. Yeah, nice. How's everything going with you guys? Yeah. All right, all right. Oh wait, sorry. I'm on. I'm on the phone with Peter John. Can I just? Can I talk to you later? All right, thanks. Bye. Welcome back, Nick. Though you did just give me a great idea. I think for this episode of Uninhibited, instead of just focusing on one software or one instrument. Let's try and focus on what we do every single day. Try and take over the world? No, instead, let's focus on something that you and I actually do every single day. All right, and that's answer our customers' technical questions. Kind of in everything you wanted to know about technical support, but were afraid to ask. Even those more sensitive questions. Mom? Uh-huh. Can I ask you a personal question? Of course, honey. Do you use phenol chloroform? I sure do, honey. But for my sensitive samples, I use the Applied Biosystems Prep Filer Express DNA Extraction Kit. <laughs> oh, organic extractions. That is sensitive. Yeah. Why don't we jump into some real questions from our customers? I like that idea. All right, let's fire up these questions. What's number one? This is Steve Gresko with the Washoe County Sheriff's Office. And my question is, can I back up my Applied Biosystems Gene Mapper IDX software database? That is a good question, Steve. Thank you for that. Yes, you can export and import the full database from your GeneMapper IDX software installation. Note though, you can only import and export a database from the exact same version of your GeneMapper IDX software. We recommend backing up that database weekly. And I know that sounds pretty frequent, but with version 1.6, you can actually fully automate that backup process using the command line interface. How about I ask you a question? What's going on? What's with the raccoon? How about this question? Hey guys, so I've been wondering, is there an automated version of the widescreen protocol? We don't have a validated automated solution right now, but it is possible to use our widescreen protocol on a robotic platform in a larger 96 well plate format. Uh, I think I saw a picture question. That's a great question, Francine. You can add your virtual standard curve to your experiment just by typing in the y-intercept and slope values for your Applied Biosystems quantification assay. This feature is included in the Applied Biosystems HID real-time PCR analysis software version 1.3 or later. <sighs> hey, Peter John, what's the next question? Hi, my name is Elizabeth Hamilton from the Louisiana State Police Crime Lab. And my question is, do you have any solutions for extremely degraded DNA? Yes, we have a couple of options for extremely degraded DNA. Our Applied Biosystems Amphilstar Mini Filer DNA Amplification Kit and our Next Generation Sequencing Platform both amplify smaller DNA fragments than traditional short tandem repeat or STR amplification kits. Our SNP panels target the smallest DNA fragments and recover genetic information from even the most degraded DNA samples. And the next question is... Hey everyone, my name is Jeremy Dubar from the Acadiana Crime Lab in New Iberia, Louisiana. And my question is, why does the Applied Biosystems widescreen protocol call for diluting the sample before quantitation? Thanks. I actually get that question a lot. We chose the one in five dilution because it worked the best with inhibited samples and correlated well with the downstream quantitation results. 
Hey, I think we have a question on line one. Yeah. Hello? <laughs> oh, it's for you, Dick. Oh, thanks. Hello? <laughs> hey, guys. Oh, yeah. Do you have a solution for genealogy analysis? So in human identification, we don't have a platform that supports current genealogy testing. But our next generation sequencing or NGS platform can provide ancestry information and you can create your own custom ampleseek.com panel totally free of charge. Was that a question? It was a question, just like this next one. Hi, this is Laura Dixon from Washoe County Sheriff's Office. Um, I do have a question. How can I decrease pull-up on my applied biosystems 3500 genetic analyzer? Thank you. The fastest way to reduce pull-up is through a spectral calibration. Pro tip, make sure your spectral calibration peak heights are similar to your sample peak heights. But if that sounds like a little too much work, the Applied Biosystems Data Collection 4 software offers a unique algorithm that drastically reduces pull-up. We got another voicemail question. Let's take a listen. How can I disable the die calibration reminders on my Applied Biosystems 7500 real-time PCR system? In the HID real-time software, navigate to Tools and then click Preferences, and you can uncheck the dies that you no longer want notifications for. And the next question is? Hi, I have a question about my STR data. How can I confirm if an STR peak is an artifact or not? I love that question. We recommend following your own standard operating procedures for data interpretation. We do periodically release confirmed artifacts in technical notes to aid in identification. Make sure you sign up for our automatic updates for our product communication tool. Where do I find that product communication tool? I have a question about my quant results. My y-intercept is shifting from when I validated. Should I be concerned? It's not unusual to see a slight y-intercept variation from run to run or lot to lot over time. It's important to track your y-intercept results as these can shift and monitoring will tell you whether it's significant. Most importantly, make sure the STR results that you're getting correlate back to your calculated input concentrations. Key point. But somebody called in earlier and left us this fantastic voice message. Question, this voice question, they left it earlier. Hey, do you have a high throughput solution for extraction? We now have a high throughput solution for extract purification. The ID Nimbus Presto can easily extract up to 96 samples at the same time in about 45 minutes using the PrepFiler extraction kit. So Peter John, we've answered all those uh, sensitive questions. Now it's time to hit me with your top five tips for customers who have technical questions. My top five tips for customers who have technical questions would be, number one, click that help button. These can be found throughout the Applied Biosystems software windows, which will give you targeted user guide support for that section. Number two, sign up for that communication tool. If you're not already registered, visit resource.thermofisher.com slash PCS. Number three, data, data, data. Always please include any troubleshooting you've already performed, relevant data, and screenshots. They go a long way. Number four, send us your feature requests. They help us design the best products for you. Lastly, number five, reach out to us. Technically, there's no technical question that's off limits, no matter how sensitive it is. Thanks, Peter John. I really like the reminder about sending in your data, data, data. And don't forget that your FAS and HID tech support are here to help you if you need anything. And we can be contacted via email, or you can contact your local field application scientist or FAS or your account manager. Sign us off, Nick. Thank you to everyone who helped make this episode today. Wait, who's joining? Uh, Dave? Well, hello there, guys. How are you? <laughs> I, you know what? I thought this was fantastic effort on Nick's part with his best pseudo British accent. But what I thought you'd need for today was some genuine Britishness to sign you up. So with that in mind, 
Well, that's all we've got time for today after this amazing, unbelievable episode of Uninhibited. And uninhibited it surely has been. Well, what we're going to do is see you right back here at the same time next time for the very next episode. Ta-ra! Can't do my line better than me. Oh, don't you believe it? I can. It's not unusual to see a slight Y-intercept variation from run to run or lot to lot over time. Perfect. Tom Jones. It's not unusual to be loved by anyone. Britney Spears. It's not unusual to be loved by anyone. I burnt my gym down with candles. The Applied Biosystems Prepfiler Express DNA Extraction Kit. Oh, wow. Not unusual to see Y-intercept variation. The Applied Biosystems Prepfiler Express DNA Extraction Kit. Did you say the ID Nimbus Pesto? Mmm, nutty. <laughs> the Applied Biosystems Prepfiler Express DNA Extraction Kit. Shut up, Nick! <laughs> it's all about me. How sensitive is your microphone? Uh, all right. Russ prefers me because I'm the best. All right, camera, 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 camera. <laughs> It's not unusual to be loved by anyone. It's not unusual to be loved by anyone. Oh, would you like an omelette there, Peter John? He's not I've gone Irish. I've gone Irish. Be by anyone. Don't say Becky again. Use a different one. You gotta say Karen. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, sister, go, sister. Come to blow, sister. <laughs> All right. Not unusual to be loved by anyone. Ooh. Looking good, Nick. Thank you. Awkward silence. <laughs> yeah. Not unusual to see me cry. Oh, I want to cry. Unusual to be loved by anyone. Can I drink wine yet? <laughs>